Hey everyone, I wanna go over two really important metrics today that you definitely need to understand if you don't already, okay? The first one is going to be the average customer value. Yes, you definitely need to know what the average worth is of each and every customer that's been coming through your store. And then the second one, which is on the second page, is your average visitor value. How much you should be spending to get that person to click to, and get to your website or your landing page, okay? So I'm gonna go over the formula in depth first, and then I'll plug in some numbers. I'll use a restaurant as my example today since we just did a restaurant not that long ago. But you can change the value of this, whether you're a doctor's office, an attorney or a lawyer, an automobile company, you know, restaurant, it doesn't really matter. You can plug this in uh, for as many different offers as you have, okay? One business that I think of that really gets this right off the get-go is Sheets Gas Station. They definitely understand how much they need to give away to gain a new customer, right? So they'll give you discounted gas, they'll give you some free coffee after so many, discounted food. Like I said, they have that metric down of what they can be giving away in order to get a new customer through the door, and I think they do a really good job of that. So let's go over the formula that consists of all this right now. So the first part of it is a tripwire offer. Okay, so what is the price of your tripwire offer? Okay, it needs to be something really good, something that's gonna be really low cost for your customer or your client, that's gonna drive a lot of foot traffic through the door. Then we add that to your core offer price. What's that higher ticket item that you wanna move them to? And, what's, and we multiply that by the core offer conversion rate. How many of those people from the tripwire converted and purchased this next core offer price? And then if you wanna to go to a third offer, a profit maximizer that's an even higher ticket item, you take that profit maximizer price, whatever that item might be, and you multiply it by how many people converted and bought that profit maximizer product, okay? So let's go through step by step and I'll put it in an example for each one of these categories. So this restaurant was a barbecue place and they did a free piece of barbecue chicken. They did a free barbecue chicken meal if you came in and bought dessert. It was $5 is what they ended up making on it and you add that to the next core offer. So the amount of people that converted from that, they did, their next offer was $5 off barbecue ribs. And that's normally $25, but they were making $20 instead, okay? So you take the $5 from the tripwire plus the $20, and out of all those people, they converted 30% and you add that to the profit maximizer, which the third offer that they threw out there was if you came back in a third time, they give you a free piece of cheesecake with your meal. And the average value of those customers were $25, where they were clearing $25 every time they got them to purchase that. And the amount of people that converted from that was 20%. Okay. So if we take that through, five the uh, free barbecue chicken, which they made $5 on, plus the $20 rib dinner, which 30% of people converted, plus the $25 uh, valued customers that bought the cheesecake and got a meal, which was 20% of them that converted, that gave us a $16 customer. So what does that mean? After taking five plus 20 times 30% plus $25 times 20% equals $16. That means every time the restaurant spends $5, they were making $16 in revenue. Okay, I hope that makes sense right now. Okay, hang with me. You can also do a dependency clause. Okay, this is where you're only going to make it, in order for them to get the free piece of cheesecake, they have to get the $5 off barbecue rib dinner first. If you were going to do that, you would do the 25 times 0.2 times 0.3, so it'd be 0.6 and that would change their value. I believe it would make it to uh, $12.50. It would lower the value 
of the customer. They would make twelve fifty in revenue. But if you're going to make it so they can collect these independently, their cost, average customer value would be 16%. Okay? So then we take that average customer value to find the average visitor value. Okay? Average customer value was $16 times the tripwire conversion rate. Out of all the people that that ad reached, how many did we get them? How many of them did we get to convert? So there was 20,000, about 20, it was roughly 20,000 uh, people that the ad went out and reached, and roughly 300 converted and collected that free barbecue chicken with their dessert. Okay, so out of the 20,000 uh, divided by 300, the, it was, or 300 into 20,000, 20, it was 1.5% conversion rate for the tripwire and that gave us 0.24 what does that 0.24 mean it means when I'm running ads for that place I know if the cost per click becomes greater than 24 cents I'm going to shut it off okay so let's jump back over here really quick and just review this there's three offers here one the tripwire two the core offer price, and then three, the profit maximizer. You can dummy this down and do as many of those offers as you want. This just helps you understand in a very complex situation if we're going to funnel from a low ticket to a higher ticket item, how to figure out that average customer value. Okay, It's very important to know that so then you know how much you should be spending in order to acquire that new customer as I said before. So if you have any questions on this, feel free to shoot me a message. If you need me to go over it one-on-one -on -one with you, I'd definitely be happy to do that as well. And as always, you can shoot me an email, aaron at shoppinglocal.net. And I look forward to seeing how you apply this to your business in your industry. So, all right, thanks again. And I will talk to you here soon.